Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the benefits of using Vigor ACS, a powerful central management solution for management of Draytec Vigor devices. If you have many Draytec devices deployed at different locations, it will be difficult to maintain and monitor them efficiently. Now, with Vigor ACS2, network administrators can monitor and manage all their Draytec devices from a central console in the comfort of their office. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to register your CPE device to Vigor ACS2. If you own a self-hosted ACS server, please go to the network management page of ACS and then configure the network group first. By default, there's a root network for CPE registration with the username ACS and password, password. Click the add new network option to create the network group for categorizing your CPE. Then type the network name and assign the unique username and password. Please make a note of the username and password that you use as we'll need to use it for the CPE registration. On the CPE, we need to ensure the device can be accessed by the TR069 server from the internet. Go to System Maintenance, Management page, enable the option Allow Management from the internet and then enable the TR069 server. Then click OK to save this configuration. After rebooting, we can now configure the ACS server details in the System Maintenance TR069 configuration menu. Select the interface to access the ACS server. Here, we choose the internet since our ACS server is on the cloud. Configure the ACS server address and port in the URL field. Enter the username and password for the ACS network group for TR069 authentication. You can enable HTTPS protocol if you require a secure connection. Now, enable the periodic inform interval. Click OK to save the settings. After the configuration is completed and saved, click the Test with Inform button to test communication with the Vigor ACS2 server. A green light indicates the Test Inform has sent to Vigor ACS2 and CPE received the reply successfully. This means that communication is now established. Vigor ACS2 uses TR069 for communication with Vigor devices. You will need to ensure that TR069 is enabled on CPE devices. After that, you will need to set up the TR069 configuration. If the CPE is behind a NAT device, you will need to enable stun settings to keep the connection between Vigor ACS2 and the Vigor device operational. Let's log in to the Vigor ACS2 page and check the CPE registration status. We can now see that a new CPE has joined the ACS. From the dashboard, we can also view detailed information of the selected CPE including MAC addresses, firmware versions, port statuses and other statistic data. 